Welcome to the NSCS officers. My name's Adam, and along with my trusty team of member engagement coordinators, Rubini Miyaga, Innovation and Alpo, we're here today to tell you everything you need to know about NSCS and how to become a successful NSCS officer. Over the next 30 minutes or so, you will gain all the tools you need to build a strong NSCS chapter and to become a true ambassador for the organization. Put your scholar shades on, because we're off on a journey from scholar status to baller status. So everyone, here's the game plan. First, we're going to go into NSCS 101 so you can learn all about this amazing organization and what makes it special. Next, we're going to go into an overview of officer responsibilities. And finally, we're going to go over the officer portal so all of you know how to use that important online tool. Alicia and Marie, are you ready? Ready! ready. NSCS is a 501c3 nonprofit organization based in Washington, D.C. We exist to recognize and elevate high achievers. First and second year undergraduate students receive an invitation to join if they have at least a 3.4 GPA. What that means is that NSCS members are some of the most enthusiastic, dedicated, and prolific students in the country. NSCS was founded in 1994 based upon three core values, scholarship, leadership, and service. Collectively, our members, our officers, and our chapters dedicate millions of hours each year volunteering in their local communities, serving as leaders on campus, and pushing each other to reach new academic heights. It's no surprise that NSCS now has over 300 chapters around the country, and we count Tim Tebow as a member. Now let's get to know everyone in the room. How about you all go around the room and tell two truths and one lie. Now don't tell each other what those lies are. Everyone needs to figure it out. Pause this video to complete the activity. Hey, I have one for you guys. Two truths and a lie. NSCS was founded in 1994. NSCS has over 300 chapters around the country. And number three, the three core values of NSCS are scholarship, leadership, and schmervis. Not funny? Sorry. Anyway, now that we've learned a little bit about the basics, it's time to dive into some specifics. One of the most incredible aspects about NSCS is our array of signature programs. These programs are designed for you to have a successful school year and to help complete the mission of NSCS. Before we talk about each program, it's important to know that the first step towards having a successful semester is by re-registering as a student group on campus. Once you receive confirmation that you are re-registered, please send proof of that registration to your member engagement coordinator. Finally, make sure to fill out your invitation checklist found on the NSCS officer portal. As an officer, you need funds. Three steps is the way. Invitation checklist, campus registration. Fall budget, hooray. Get your funds. Get your funds. This is how you get your funds. Invitation checklist, campus registration. And the budget's in my way. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about induction. The NSCS New Member Induction Ceremony is oftentimes the first event that NSCS members attend. New members receive their membership pin, take their oath of membership, and learn so much more about the wonderful opportunities with NSCS. As officers, it's important to note that this is the best opportunity for you to engage those new members and get them involved in your chapter. That's why it's crucial that you have activities planned before the new member induction ceremony and share them with the new members. 
Rush is an NSCS signature program that takes place all year round. Rush stands for Recruiting Undergraduate Students of Honor. While Rush does take place year round, it's best to think of Rush in two strategic parts, the fall and the spring. During the fall, Rush is all about raising awareness of NSCS on your campus. It's possible that many members of your university community have never heard of NSCS and it's your mission to educate them about our wonderful society and its amazing benefits. During the spring, Rush accelerates into overdrive. This is because eligible members of your university community will receive invitations to join NSCS during this time. It's your mission to convince as many of those members to join NSCS and become a member of the NSCS family. Last year, you guys simply killed it, and I know 2013 and 2014 will be even better. Integrity Week is an NSCS signature program that happens during the second week of February. It's all centered around an important concept to NSCS, integrity. Throughout the week, your chapter will host events themed around this important concept. And if you need some ideas, feel free to reach out to your member engagement coordinator who can help you. It's time to pick up the PACE, literally. PACE stands for Planning to Achieve Collegiate Excellence. It's all based around the idea that college is key to long-term success. PACE generally has three main components, March to College Day, tutoring, and assemblies. However, PACE does differ from chapter to chapter. What unites all those chapters is a commitment to working with underserved youth and by encouraging those underserved youth to attend university. If you don't have a PACE program already started on your campus, contact your member engagement coordinator to learn how to start one. Share the Service is an NSCS signature program that partners our chapters at four-year schools with neighboring chapters at community colleges. Together, these chapters work together to complete important service initiatives in their communities. Make sure to check out the NSCS map to see if there's a local school that you can create a partnership with. Academy Abroad is an NSCS signature program that takes place during the summer. Academy Abroad allows NSCS opportunities to live and learn abroad in places like Australia and Thailand. To learn more information about Academy Abroad and to read personal testimonies of NSCS members that have taken advantage of this amazing opportunity, you can check out the NSCS blog talknerdytome.org. The S2 Challenge is an NSCS signature program that takes place over 12 weeks during the summer from June to August. Each week, the program features a new social media challenge for members to participate. Every time a member participates, they earn points. The top points earner each week is eligible to receive a gift card, and the top point earner over the summer is eligible to receive a scholarship. It's a great way for members to stay connected to NSCS during the summer and also to win some really cool prizes. Last, but certainly not least, there's ScholarCon. In years past, NSCS has hosted a leadership summit for its members and officers. But this year, we've taken that concept to a whole new level and will be hosting an unconventional convention. Over the course of four days in Orlando, Florida, students will have the opportunity to interact with some of the most amazing innovators in arts, technology, higher education, and so much more. Personally, I'm really excited for the live performance by John Legend. It's vital that at least one member of your chapter attend ScholarCon. And luckily for you, your member engagement coordinator has comps so your chapter can attend for free. Make sure to email your member engagement coordinator today for more information. Throughout the course of the school year, NSCS members have the opportunity to apply for scholarships. These scholarships pertain to academic interests, study abroad, great service initiatives, and so much more. As NSCS officers, it's your mission to educate members about these scholarship opportunities and encourage them to apply. One thing to keep in mind is that NSCS will be celebrating its 20th anniversary this upcoming year. To help celebrate, we've upped the ante and we'll be offering $1 million in scholarships. 
One of the most exciting developments out of NSCS the past couple of years is our careers program. NSCS has partnered with some amazing organizations and companies around the country who are excited about hiring our outstanding members. Many of these career offerings can be found on the member portal online. NSCS members can fill out an online resume and express interest in industries they want to hear more information about. As NSCS officers, it's, this is a great opportunity for you to educate your members about NSCS benefits. And what a great idea for member meeting. Finally, NSCS offers a number of amazing discounts to our members. From study abroad, to travel, to textbooks, to saving money on car insurance, NSCS discounts cover pretty much everything a 21st century student would need. As a member engagement coordinator, I can tell you firsthand that I've saved money using NSCS benefits throughout the course of the year. And I encourage you to encourage your students and your members to take advantage of those opportunities. I think in total over the past year, I've saved approximately, let me do some calculations really quick. Is this right? So now you know why NSCS is so awesome. Let's practice. Pretend you're at a new member induction ceremony and a student and their family member walk up to you wanting to know what makes NSCS stand out. Go around the room and tell each other what you would say. Wow, that was a fun exercise. Make sure you continue practicing to ensure that the way you're communicating with your members really stands out and you're prepared for your rush season. So now I'm here to tell you all about what it means to be an NSCS officer, the reason why you're here today. First, let's start with the chapter president. The chapter president is the glue between the national office your chapter advisor, and the officer board. They're the ones that are facilitating officer meetings and ensuring that all of your chapter goals are met. Make sure that you, as chapter president, are the leader of the officers. You're the one making sure that everything flows, everything sticks together, and at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to make sure your NSES chapter is engaged. As chapter president, some of your responsibilities will be to facilitate officer board meetings, ensure that you're working together with your chapter advisor to make sure that the eligible member information process is completed by January 15th, ensuring that you're a registered student organization on your campus, communicating regularly with your member engagement coordinator to make sure all your chapter goals are met, and ensuring that at least one member from your chapter is ready to attend ScholarCon. The next officer board position is VP of Events. This is essentially your executive vice president. And what this means is that your main role is to ensure that officer board meetings are being held when your president's not available. But more importantly, ensuring that those chapter meetings are being held and that you're the facilitator. You're responsible for bringing in speakers, making the meetings fun, engaging, and creative, and ensuring that all of your members understand the goals of the officer board. Now let's dive into the specific responsibilities of the VP of Events. Other than facilitating your chapter meetings, your main role is to be the collaborator. You're working together with all the different officer board positions to ensure that you are working together as a team. You're making sure that all of the event needs are being met for their programs and that they're successful. So this could mean anything from your catering, your reservations, or your AV needs. And don't forget, your main event for the year is the new member induction ceremony. So make sure you're in constant communication with your member engagement coordinator, you're having your induction check-in call at least two weeks before your ceremony, and you're utilizing all the resources that we have for you up on the NSCS portal. Next is the VP of Public Relations, or the VP of PR. 
Now in this position, you're fostering awareness of NSCS and its activities among members, potential members, faculty, staff, and even your local community. For the VP of PR role, it's just like the VP of events where you're collaborating, only instead of collaborating with chapter officers, now you're collaborating with other student groups on campus. You're advertising and marketing your chapter activities and programs in fun and creative ways. You're ensuring that your chapter participates in a campus activities fair on campus. And you're working together to ensure that Rush is executed effectively. Remember in Adam's section where he talked about the signature programs? Rush stands for Recruiting Undergraduate Students of Honor. And as VP of PR, this is your main program of the year. You're working with your member engagement coordinator to ensure that you turn in your crazy ideas. These could be any ideas that you have for getting NSCS's name out there on campus and making sure all of the NSCS members and potential new members know what your goals are for your chapter. The next two officer board positions are star status coordinator and treasurer. In both of these roles, it's extremely important that you are organized. And when I say organized, I mean extremely organized because you're the ones responsible of keeping track of chapter activities or expenses for your chapter. In the treasurer position, you have several responsibilities including maintaining your chapter's finances and facilitating fundraising activities. And you have so many tools to help you be successful in this position. One are your fall budget worksheet and your spring budget worksheet. Then you have your chapter funds card and your chapter funds policies which can be found on the portal. With the budget worksheet, there's two sections. One is the projected side which will turn in at the beginning of each semester. Then you have the actual side. This is the side that you'll maintain as you complete chapter activities, programs, and events. By completing your budget worksheet, this makes sure you don't overshoot your budget and you leave room to buy chapter t-shirts at the end of the year. Let's dive into the responsibilities of the star status coordinator position. In this role, you're responsible for organizing and communicating with your member engagement coordinator and your officers the progress of your star status. What is star status? Star status is how we can keep your chapter on track to meet all of your goals. And this year's star status can be found on the member portal. Speaking of the member portal, the member portal is your best friend in the star status coordinator position. This is where you can email all of your chapter members and your officers and update your chapter activity reports so your member engagement coordinator knows everything that your chapter is accomplishing for the year. In addition, don't forget to take meeting minutes at all of your chapter meetings and your officer board meetings. Then, the meeting minutes that you take for your chapter meetings will be given directly to your VP of social media so they can ensure they're posted on your chapter's Facebook page. Next is the VP of social media. In this role, you're responsible for maintaining your chapter's online presence through your Facebook page, which is also a star status requirement. Now, if you're the VP of social media, make sure you're posting your officer bios on your page, answering questions of members, commenting, and getting creative with fun videos and pictures. Now, some of our most successful chapters even have Twitter accounts, Pinterest, or Tumblr, or Instagram. If you have a Twitter account for your chapter's Facebook page, make sure the first two people you follow are your member engagement coordinator and the NSCS National Office. Let's talk about service. The VP of Community Service and the VP of PACE are essential to the NSCS Officer Board, seeing as service is one of the NSCS pillars and our foundation. So try to make sure that your chapter has one or the other or both positions on your Officer Board. In the VP of Community Service role, your responsibilities will be facilitating and holding community service events both on your campus and in your local community. Whereas the VP of PACE, which stands for Planning to Achieve Collegiate Excellence, 
is responsible for holding one or all of the three components of PACE. Assemblies, March to College Day, or tutoring and mentoring. Now that you know all about your officer roles and responsibilities, let's practice. Take out a piece of paper and divide it down the middle. On the left hand side, write your roles and responsibilities. On the right hand side, write what you need from all the other officer positions. For example, I'm the president and my roles and responsibilities are X, Y, and Z. I need from the VP of events X, Y, and Z. I expect from the treasurer X, Y, and Z. So on and so forth. Take a few minutes and then share with each other. Don't forget to maybe write one for your advisor as well. What do you need from your advisor and what do you expect that their roles and responsibilities are? And then maybe set up a time to meet with your advisor to discuss. understanding of exactly what's expected of you in your officer board position. It's okay to rewind this section to review all the other officer board positions though. You're going to want to work together as a team this year and clearly understand what's expected in each individual role. Now let's move on to the portal. You heard me reference in the last section all about the portal and how it's a useful tool for you as an officer. Well, let me show you. The first step is going to www.nscs.org. Then you'll click Login. Here you'll be directed to the member login. Well, you type in your email address, which is your username, and your password. If you've forgotten your password, just click Forgot Your Password or contact your member engagement coordinator and they'll reset it for you. Then click Login. This will take you directly to the NSCS member portal. This is what all of your members can see when they log in. Their profile, my chapter, my benefits, scholarships, discounts, and careers. But you have a different section, Manage My Chapter. Click here. This will take you to the officer view of the member portal. Here you'll find all of your chapter resources, how to edit your chapter leadership, your deadlines, your chapter checklist, activity reports, emailing members, and the invitation checklist which is due on September 15th. Use all of these helpful resources to manage your chapter and to stay organized. Now that you know the ins and outs of the portal, let's practice emailing your members. Click on Email Members. In the subject line, write Officer Training Video Completed. And in the body of the message, write your favorite part about the Officer Training Video thus far. Then you want to click on Officers. This is who you're going to send it to. Additionally, you'll be sending it to the Member Engagement Coordinator. And that is how we can tell you've watched this video and also give you star status credit for watching the video. Then click send. After sending your message, an error may occur. However, please disregard this error as your email has been sent. If you're unsure, please check with your member engagement coordinator. Wow, congratulations, you have successfully completed your NSCS officer training. Before we finish this video, let's recap a little bit what we learned. First, we learned about NSCS, what makes NSCS special, from our signature programs to our incredible member benefits. Next, we learned about the NSCS officer responsibilities. Each and every one of us now knows what we need to do in order to have a successful school year. And finally, we learned about the officer portal, which we are all experts on using. It is my pleasure to officially announce that you guys have reached baller status.